Okay, what we're doing is making a very basic tutorial on how to open up GarageBand and create a drum beat uh, to get a song started. We're going to hit New Music Project. We're going to save it in the appropriate folder. GarageBand Storage. We're going to call it Tutorial 1 drum and create we'll open up garage band we're going to get rid of this grand piano because we're doing drums we're going to open up the instruments drums I like rock and roll so I always use the rock kit automatically changes it over here as you can see next we're going to open this up select all drums and I like the sound, or one of the sounds I do like, which I'm going to use for this, is uh, it's called the Lounge Jazz Drum Beat. Okay, sounds soft there, but when you combine that beat with this rock and roll kit, uh, creates a little different sound. Okay, so we've got our beat started. Okay, one thing we can do uh, to add to this is to simply take the section we've already put in there, copy it, and then paste it. And as you can see, it automatically adds the next section, same amount of time, same everything, in front of the header. And the header automatically moves up. Okay, and it'll keep doing that. <clears throat> so, we'll just throw a couple in there real quick. Okay, so now we've got a drum beat started. Okay. And you can leave it just as it is if you want to, but <clears throat> um, uh, for me, I come from the genre of music where like the drums and all the instruments are like telling a story and, and oftentimes build up to a climax or do backbeats and to, to throw nuance and, and uh, mood into the music so what I like to do is take the drums and it's it's a long tedious process but when it's done it's a really cool you can come up with some really cool stuff. Okay, so for just this little deal here, what we're going to do is we're going to see, I think this is a hi hat. Okay, a couple things real quick. <clears throat> A foot base okay with each one of these uh, beats or whatever you can manipulate them so you can get a short punchier sound out of it and you can go over here to the note velocity and actually raise it and increase the volume so that it stands out or decrease it uh, to create again nuance and so forth within the music. Okay, we got the snare there. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can figure this out real quick. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to take this, this uh, swinging jazz beat, and change it into just a regular boom, crack, boom, crack, um, just to give you an idea of what you can do with this. And show you how easy it actually is. <clears throat> and we're going to erase 
there's that velocity there. Okay. And so you got a double like is if you were to hit your snare with two both your sticks there. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go, we'll listen to it from the very beginning, and the second section here will be where, the, where I just manipulated everything. The change will come right now. So you can see... You can see that <clears throat> you can do a lot with this. Now, you know, that was just a quick little sample. And, uh, you know, that's just, again, just that. Just a quick little sample. You can really spend time with this. I've got a couple pieces in here where I spent time with the drums, you know, like a couple days just going over and over and over again. And uh, came up with some really cool sounding stuff. But, uh, anyway... There you go. Uh, that's how to get started with your uh, garage band drum beat. So you can start adding more tracks and uh, come up with some really cool stuff. Hope it was helpful. We'll see you in the next video.